Hey friends, this is David, your traveling tutor. Today I am at what's called the Ruins of Talisai, and it is an old mansion that was burned down in World War II. And we'll talk a little bit more about the history as we kind of travel through it. It's a, it's a pretty historic landmark in Bacolod City, and particularly in Negros Occidental. So we're gonna head inside, take a look at the ruins. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna head inside. Okay, they've got some bathrooms here, which is nice. Ellie's filling out our, our registration form, and it looks like that's where you're gonna pay over there to go inside. Okay, so as we head in, I think we go this way. Wow, really nice. Gorgeous. And we again we have these these tropical pine trees right here, which are nice to see again. They have farm. They have garden. I think that's that's a vegetable garden. Yeah. Okay. So where are the ruins actually? Over there. That looks like Stonehenge. So you know this is a historic place, but there's really nothing to kind of tell you what is going on. You know, like in, in the US you'd have uh, park rangers to tell you exactly, you know, what's what. Uh, like an info. Yeah, signs for info. I think this is more probably for, you know, for photo ops. Don't know if it was part of the original uh, ruins. I don't think it is, but it's very, very scenic. And it looks like there is a fish pond over here. Huh, nice. Yeah, sun's still out a little bit, so it's a tad warm. So yeah, really Whoa, nice that's field. A big one. Oh, there is a a koi. Hey, boy. Oh, boy. Is a koi. And another. I wonder if I can catch them with my hands. That's a good dinner. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Come on over. I bet you if I splash, you'll come over. Here they come. They hear dinner. <laughs> Here it comes. Yeah, look at this nice koi pond. Yeah, so we just kind of walked in and we head and we went over to that brick structure over there and then i don't know not really a, a way to tell you where to go but pretty easy to figure out just look for the big building that looks like it's ruins <laughs> and that would be over here ah, that's nice little garden area over there I think this is the tree that gives the uh, those lovely uh, frangipani blooms that smell so good that I loved in Hawaii. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about old folks were saying that uh, that tree, that flower is for a dead people. Like it's for the dead. <laughs> Yeah. It certainly smells good though. If it's for the dead people, it sure smells good. <laughs> okay, well, this looks like it here. Welcome to the ruins. So as you walk in, you walk into this big open, it was called the Taj Mahal of uh, Negros Occidental at one time. 
because apparently a sugar baron, first name is Marina Loxon, and his wife Loxon also, after her 11th child, she died in childbirth, and Mr. Loxon built this grand mansion in honor of his wife. And that was in the, the turn of the 1900s, you know, and then World War II came around, and uh, U.S. service members with uh, Filipino guerrillas thought that this place would become a Japanese headquarters, so they set it on fire, and it said that this place burned for three days until it finally was burnt itself out. But it's pretty amazing that there's a roof that's built over it, and a lot of the concrete is still really good shape. Yeah, still really strong. Tap on them to show them again, huh? <laughs> it's concrete. Give it a give it a thunk. Okay, this looks like an old. What is this, guys? If you know, please let me know. I have no clue what this is. It's like a. The one that they use for the the horse, the horse will pull it. Oh, okay, like but a there's there's a there's a pulpit right there though. It looks like this is some kind of a table, so that threw me off. I'm sure it's probably for a carabao. At one point. Or horse. No, see the horns. Oh, for a bow, yeah. I'm sure this is a carabao, you know, uh, for pulling people. But then it looked like maybe it got turned into a pulpit. Maybe a preacher was up here. Belvedere, Belvedere, what is it? The, the, the what? Say that again. The room above. The Belvedere? Belvedere. Mm-hmm. It is facing west and affords the family with a beautiful view of the sunset and the coastal waters oh, of Talisa in a glass themed sunroom with bathing. Wow, can you imagine guys? Look at this, the stairway. Probably uh, clad with wood at one point. As you can see some grooves in there but this would have been a grand staircase going up to the second floor with awesome bedrooms. Again, just like Feli said, a view of the sunset facing west. Okay, I'm walking out to the front of the ruins. Wow. How amazing is that? Again, this was built by Mr. Loxon, who was a sugar baron, probably in the 1800s, 1900s. Look at how gorgeous that is. Nice resto over on the other side. Wow. Too bad that it, it's a ruins and it's not an ancestral home that's still, you know, being lived in or... But it's cool that there's a roof on it. They put a roof over it to, you know, keep the water out and... Wow, that is gorgeous. Look at that building. All right, the ruins of the mansion of Don Mariano Ledesma Loxon. It was built in memory of his wife after her death in 1911. It was uh, Italian architecture and built as a monument of their love. In the eve of World War II in 1942, the mansion was torched by guerrilla fighters and was burning for three days, leaving behind reminders of a glorious past. Friends, one of the, uh, the interesting things that I see over there is that is a concrete tree. I think that is the smokestack for the sugar mill, but a tree just decided to grow out of the top of it. 
which is, in my opinion, that's pretty cool. But I'm gonna go a little closer. We'll get out of the sun. Yeah, I think that is a smokestack with the tree growing out of the top of it. Let me know what you think. I don't see any information. Haven't read anything or researched sod when I've researched uh, the ruins. So if you have any thoughts, please let me know. People love to come here and take photos. It's so scenic. This is a great place to do photography. So you can see everybody doing like little photo ops here and there, which is pretty cool. United Architects of the Philippines. Kind of in a back corner, tucked away, Mama Mary, overlooking the mansion. What's up, bud? What's up? Hey! Do you come from, from America or the Philippines? What do you think? I don't know. Well, I'm in the Philippines now. Where do you think I'm from? Maybe America. You speak English. I do, and but so do you. You speak really good English. Yeah, because because I'm watching TV uh, uh, cartoon characters and they speak English. That's good. That's good, bud. What's your name? Okay, all and, right. And only the she tell, uh, talk to me English. That's good. My name's David. Uh, you, hey, hey, hey do yeah. you make videos? I do, I'm a vlogger. Hey, you put it in, in YouTube. You're gonna be on YouTube. Is that, we got better go ask your mom, okay? What? Until what? Four, four years old. Okay, and then, then when he, he really, He's really speaking English. That's amazing. <laughs> Every year we have American visitors, missionaries. Okay. They, we let them stay in our house. Every year. Okay. Uh, but when pandemic, when the start of pandemic, they, they don't. Yeah. Well, hopefully soon people yeah. will be coming back. In America. Huh? How are you feeling in America? How is it in America? Fine. I, I just saw you. It's a little busy sometimes. Yeah, I just saw you. Uh, yeah, you said, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. You were over by the uh, fountain. Yeah, that's right. I know. What an amazing building. Oh, look at that palm. I think that's a date palm. Yeah, imagine coming in this way, in through this grand entrance, and then right up those stairs. That would have been so awesome. So it looks like there's still some windows here. I would imagine those were added probably after the fire. It's hard to say though. I wonder, yeah, I wonder if this is like the original tile too. Some of these things had to, yeah, some of these had to survive. But what an incredible building. It's too bad it was never rebuilt. Ah, uh, look at this entry. Um, I don't think the chandeliers are, but I would imagine that this outer part survived where the inner part, this is gonna be concrete. This would all be wood on the inside. Kind of looks like maybe like something from Karate Kid. Have you ever seen the Karate Kid movie? Looks like a bonsai tree. Yeah, but uh, I saw a tree in America, in Africa. Uh -huh. 
Huh? It kind of looks like that? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe an African. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. All right, bud. See ya. In Africa too, yeah. It's nice to meet you, Daniel. Bye bye. Bye. Daniel is such a he's such a talker. Learned English from cartoons. Pretty amazing. <laughs> you don't want to go, do you? Okay. Yeah, we were able to see the ruins of Tilisai. Wow, what an amazing building. The history, you know, just kind of strikes me. World War II was a pretty significant event in this world. And to have to burn down such an amazing house. Wow. I mean, even now, totally burned out, it's still a beautiful building. And so anyhow, it was fun to come here. I hope you enjoy what you see. If you like it, please subscribe, hit the like button somewhere. It's around here somewhere. But anyhow, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the ruins. I enjoyed sharing it with you. Please check out other videos that I have if you like this. And I'll continue to show you Negros Occidental, one of the gems of the Philippines. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.